So we're back with another installment of the Potomac Beads Best Bead Box Treasure Edition. As you know, this is a monthly beading subscription and they revised it beginning January. I'm not going to talk too much. I'm really excited to show you guys what is in April's box. So if you want to know the details and how to subscribe to this box, then please check out the description box below. And without further ado, let's get into it because I have a lot to show you. Okay, so we are here with the box. I am not going to do the picture in picture because I decided to do a no makeup makeup look, meaning there is no makeup. <laughs> so you only get to see my hands today. So uh, here's the box. This is, like I said, April's box. And as always, we have this lovely box with the magnetic closure. And in the first of all, when I opened the packaging, it had this best basic beading techniques i love this because it tells you some really basic techniques that will help you a ton when you're beading it, you know basic stringing using a bead stopper how to use a wire guard with thread and a lot of these you know i've done here on my channel so you guys have seen that how to crimp uh, and then I think that's it, but I have the feeling that this is going to be ongoing and What you need to do is make sure if you're already subscribed that you have kept your Potomac beads Box from the previous month as you can see here now we have Perfect place to put this which I love I love that they have that forward-thinking to have a place to store your uh you know your beading techniques and i'm sure we're going to see more so i'm going to put that away come back to this and i'm going to go quickly through here and then we will go through uh we will go to our project and this is as i said the best bead box treasure edition which includes 12 to 20 unique beads and as you saw some treats i really love that they're adding a little extras which is really nice and here it says this month is blooming into spring and it tells you a little bit of their inspiration simply cut some stretch string and make a multitude of stretch bracelet those are always fun so then you have your list here of beads that are in the box so we're going to go through these quickly so you guys can check them out with me this is the first time i'm looking at them as well so we have the potomac beads crystal bite cone stark sapphire three millimeter I've been choosing to use the white background to show them to you because I think they really stand out a lot more than on the beading mat. And then I'll bring the beading mat in for beading. And then we have check faceted rounds, six millimeter and dark topaz. We have another lovely bead strand. Check faceted rounds, four millimeter in peridot. I actually love the stone, but these are really pretty. I love the color. I think that's what it is. Then we've got some 0.8 millimeter, 0.03 inch elastic, uh, what's this? Oh yeah, no fray, latex free elastic cord, Potomac, Potomac's stretch string. Then we got this fun, I love these because they are so handy. And now I have one that says Potomac Beads, yay! I bought some on Timu but i you know they come with nothing on them so this is fun you could probably put you know glue some crystals on here decorate it so another fun idea and you've got your little tape measure like i said i had one and i used it until i broke it <laughs> oh look at these pretties they're check glass tile beads turquoise and uh, turquoise travertine i love the travertine finish on them makes them look like they're antique. Then I'm not gonna open these or they're gonna go all over the place. These are Mayuki, Mayuki Delica beads, an opaque pair. Then these are Potomac Halo beads at one hole in rose gold. So they have, you know, you could put a little bead in the middle of them and it would make a fun bracelet or, yeah, I think a bracelet would be really pretty then we have these pretty guys they what are these button shanks 12 millimeter and they are premium 99.9 .9 silver plated see how they've got there and then you can just uh, you know put a stone or something on them to use them as buttons 
Oh, look at these pretty ones. They are bead caps, filigree, four millimeter, and they are also 99.9 .9 silver plated, and there's a pack of 100. Look like little flowers. And these really pretty guys are check drop matte color mix, and te there's 10 grams. They look like sea glass. Then we have the uh, Potomac Pearls, bright white, four millimeter. Lovely pearls. Ooh, look at these sparkly guys. Potomac bead, crystal, bite cones, and crystal color, four millimeter. I'm like, what am I seeing double? Look at this lovely stone. This is a check glass organic disc and it's 12, 24 millimeters. It's not completely flat. So you can, it's perfect for a pendant, uh, end cone, etched long cone silver. These are fun. Check glass, cut diamond and chartreuse. Look at that, they also have that Picasso finish on the ends. Look at these guys. Uh, check glass shapes mix and uh, color. The color is spring color mix. Look at all these fun little guys. Always can use a bunch of those. All right, so I forgot I got these at the dollar store. Nothing to do with Potomac beads, but I bought them because I didn't want these beads going all over the place on this white surface. They stay when you're on the bead mat, but I got these at the dollar store. They're, uh, looks like they're like hors d'oeuvre plates or something, but they're perfect for beads. So just, just a tip. <laughs> So this is the Potomac Beads Best Bead Box Treasure Edition for the month of April 2023. What do you guys think? Which ones are your favorites? I love them all. I love the, the little extras that we get as well. And now all we have to do is make some beautiful jewelry with these beads. So stay tuned for that. All right, you guys. So I'm going to attempt something new. And I haven't done one of these. I've done headbands before. But this time I'm going to do a headband that is embroidered with the beads that we got from this month's box. So I think it'll turn out really pretty and it's perfect for the spring. So this is what I have right now. I might have to pull out other stuff if I need to, but so far what I'm gonna be using are these blue little bicones, cones, the crystal ones, which I think will sparkle really pretty together. And then where I'm going to use the pearls and I'm going to be using this. I bought these on Amazon and they sell them by, I think about, they're either 12 or 18 in a package. And these are one and a, one and a half centimeters wide. So, you know, you know what to order if you want to make the same size. Yep, one and a half centimeters right there. Then I got from the dollar store, which I think they have really pretty, ribbon uh, you don't have to go and spend a lot so i got the satin ribbon in this really pretty like cream color that's why these clear ones will come really handy and hopefully these well they're white but not too much i think it'll look really pretty they'll really stand out and then i got some batting and i got this from amazon as well this it says perfect for microwave projects like insulated potato bags but what I want is cotton batting to, uh, you know, use this. I don't know. It says microwave safe. I don't need it to be microwave safe. Again, I got these, this package on Amazon. And I'm going to first put that on here to make it, you know, fluffy or squishy. I don't know how to say it. So I'm going to open this up. So I'm going to go through this as fast as I can. That way I, you're not here forever. So I'm going to start off each piece just so you see how I started it and then we'll move into the next step in the next step. Okay. All right. So let's get started. I've got my scissors and then I'm going to open up this cotton batting. We don't really need that much. So I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double up so that it's a lot more fluffy. I've, I've got my grammar correct there. <laughs> so let me see how much am I going to need? Like I said, I haven't done these, so how is it going to turn out? I do not know. So stay tuned. 14 and a half inches, which is 37 centimeters for the metric system, people. Let's see, because I want it to wrap around. It's one and a half centimeters. So three, and then I'm going to add two more. Okay, so I'm going to cut five. You know what? To be on the safe side, we've got a lot of batting. Because like I said, I want to double it up. I'm going to go with six. So right about there. Okay. 
Then what I'm going to do is fold this in half. 37. So again, I'm just going to do 40. Okay, so I have this doubled up. Now what I am going to use, I'm not going to sew it on. I am actually going to, to make this easier, I'm actually going to glue it on. So I have this doubled up and I should be able to hopefully glue this on like like a so and that'll make it nice and soft for uh who are, you know the head i know i can't uh, i know headbands give me a headache what about you guys so i don't like it when they're too tight or um what do you call it not tight but hard so what i'm gonna do i have this glue here that i bought again it's called Beacon Advanced Craft Glue, three in one. It's crystal clear, instant grab, and fast drying. I've been using this for several projects and I like it. I haven't tested durability, unfortunately, but hope so far what I've used it on has, I mean, as far as length, how long it'll, it'll stay, but so far when I have used it, it works really well and it seems to be staying well. So we're gonna go with this. Besides, we're going to put ribbon on top, so it, it really doesn't matter. And then sew, so it'll be fine. So what I'm going to do is first put some glue on the actual. Oh, let me get into camera here. I'm going to put some glue on the actual headband. Come on. Oh, there it is. And I'm going to be generous. I got two bottles of this stuff. <laughs> and then I'm going to put this on here, right? That. And this material is a little stretchy, so that's nice too. I like that. And then, my hands are shaky. I knew I shouldn't have that energy drink. <laughs> then. Let me make sure it's in the middle. There we go. And then I'm going to cross it over. So it's going to be looking like this. Okay. And then that I'm going to go all around and I'll see you when I'm at the end of here. All right. Okay. So I'm done wrapping this around and, and now my hands are full of fuzzies, but that's okay. What I'm going to do is cut it right here where the, where the headband ends because I'm going to show you right now, we don't need, let me just make sure I'm not cutting into the headband. Right there. And then, so I'm glad I had extra. I'd rather have extra than add more. So now what I'm going to do is take this ribbon. Of course, fingers, this works. I haven't tried this ribbon either. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start here. And again, we're going to glue. Let me see. No, down here. We're gonna start going around. So again, I'm just gonna put, this glue seems to be holding up really well. And it does say that it's for material. So I will link it in the description box below. It says it's acid free and waterproof. So I think it's really, it's really good glue. It had good reviews too. So I'm gonna put that right there and hold it down. And then we're just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the gluing to the bottom of the headband so that you don't see, you know, if it, it comes through the ribbon. This is nice ribbon, by the way, FYI. So if it comes through the, you know, if there's any crust, you know, like hard parts from the glue and going through the, through the ribbon, you won't, they won't see it outright. Okay, so again, and I'm just gonna go around like this. I bought a lot of ribbon, so we won't be running out, I hope. So here, so I'm gonna go and wrap this all around. I'm gonna continue like that all around until I get to the end here. So I have finished here, this part of the headband. So now what I'm going to do is just cut this end and glue it 
down. Now a tip is that as I was rolling it around, you have to be careful that you don't, see how it gets pinched? I don't know if you could see it right there. So you have to be careful to make sure that you're spreading it, you know, that you're, that's not happening to the top. It, it doesn't matter if it's on the bottom, but that way you have some nice, I mean, it's still going to be, we're still going to be covering it with beads, but you know, you still want it to have, be nicer on the top. So, all right, you can hear my, my guy in the background. I am going to cut this here. And then give it one last little drop of glue and then I'll tell you what we're going to do with the ends. So I just leave, you know, I usually put a drop like this and then I just whoop, go over and make sure that it's nice and even on the top. See. Now what we're going to do is grab, I don't know why I cut this at an angle. Cut it straight like this. Grab about two inches of ribbon. I'm going to cut that. We're just going to again take a dollop of glue and put this guy right here. Make sure you hold on to him. Doesn't matter if the glue comes out, you're going to, you'll see in a minute why. And then put another dollop right here like that and I put my big old finger on it pull it I think I might cut it a little bit made it a bit long okay so maybe about an inch and three quarters or an inch and a half and then again you're going to start here put this end here like this so that here and tuck in that tuck in this this batting in here tuck it in and another glue here if you're worried about the glue not staying you could always add a little bit of stitch you know a few stitches in there so I'm going to see how long that lasts and if it doesn't I will I will definitely do, be doing that. And then just cut right there. That way you end the you got these ends nice and even here. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Be right back. Okay, so I am done with those two sides. Look at how pretty that looks just alone like that. Even if you didn't put beads on it, you could find a different color ribbon and just do that. They still would turn out really pretty just as a, a regular headband. But we're going to make it a lot prettier. And I have some wildfire. I'm going to put that away because I already sealed the edges of the ribbon. Oh, and by the way, this ribbon, there was a ton left. So totally recommend this ribbon. Oh, you don't need to see that one. But look, at it's uh, six yards. So I still have a ton left over. And, you know, look at everything I wrapped. So uh, you probably could get two of these with just one roll. So that is really cool. So now I have some wildfire in the color frost. And, what, and then I have a beading needle. This one, I think, I believe it's a size 10. And the way I like to thread the needle because I'm literally, first of all, I need to put my glasses on. <laughs> and then what I like to do is you can just squish it like that and it turns into a little paddle. If you watch my other videos, you know how that goes. And then you get, it's e really easy to thread. Look at my fingers full of glue. <laughs> I'm going to need some nail polish remover. Uh... Cause I don't think water took it. I washed my hands and didn't work. Come on. See, and it just threads through there. And then I need to grab my tweezers again, apparently. The paddle part went through, not the rest. All right. So I cut out two wingspans, which means I stretched my arms out twice so that I could get plenty of string. Now, 
the way I saw somebody do it, because I watched a video on here uh, on how to make these, is the way I saw them do it, and I think it was a genius idea, is that they started from the center. So pick us what you think is the center part. I'm going to hook the thread on. So I'm going to go down through here, come up through here, like that. Bring that all the way through because I don't like to have not showing through. So what I'm going to do is just bring it through up to here and then and then I, I'll thread. See how I have the little tail sticking out? Just hold on to that. And I'm going to start with these clear ones and bring it all the way down and then bring it through here again. Pretty much where I started. Bring it back up. Bring it through, and then I'm going to bring it through this this bicone cone again, just to make sure that it's on there and it's not going to come out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like little rows and I'll show you. So I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to go in this direction. I'll have to come back up, but that's okay. So I'm going to go like a diagonal is what I'm thinking. Again, I didn't plan this. I wanted you guys to see how I think of my ideas and designs I see people do certain things and then I just take the technique and make it my own so I'm just going to bring this guy here make sure that he or it butts up against the other one like that and I'm going to go all the way out to here to be on the sec the first spike when I put in. And this is just insurance. And I'm gonna go back through this one. Like I said, it doesn't it's good to put it extra times because that way that way you know these stones won't fall off. Or these crystals I mean. And then I'm gonna bring it all the way back out over here. Might be a little more time consuming, but you'll know for sure that your crystals won't fall off. And they'll be on there nice. I'll cut that little end there once I come back. So now I have this one out here. I'm just gonna put this guy here, bring him all the way down. And now I'm just going to, again, bring it through and come out all the way over here. See? You kind of gotta, you gotta go around like that, and I think that's the most securest way to do it, to be honest. Because you know, when you put it on your head, you're moving, moving, bump things around. So if you really want to, especially if you're gonna sell any of these, and then you come through this first one again, not through the second one, but through the, sec the first one, and then back out there, right there. And then grab another one. Back out here. Now we're going to come out over here. I just always want to anchor myself with another one of these, you know. I don't want that one to be all alone. You know, the last one that I placed. I always want to make sure I'm going through a different bead to ensure that it's on there. And then I'm just going to come back through and come back out here. Oh, I'm going to get it come out a little bit closer there. Then I'm going to do one row of the blue and the pearls as far as I can because I want to make sure I, even if it doesn't go all the way down, I want to make sure that at least I cover, make sure that I'm covering half. So from here, I'm going to come out to go down through here and I'm going to come out right next to this one. So and now I'm going to grab a blue one. I'm going to go back through behind it kind of right underneath where it's going to sit and then right next to it. Make sure that you know where you want it right there. And I'm going to put another one. That blue is going to pop really pretty on this headband. And now I have this guy here. Now guess what? I'm going to go back down through here. 
come all the way out, the way out on this side, and bring this guy through and come out through here. And there, now we have these on. Now another one. Again, I'm gonna go down through almost where I where I entered when I where I came out of, and then all the way in front of this one, the second one. Bring it back through here, down the into the headband or into the ribbon, and I'll see where I want to place the next one. Right about there. Now, as you can see we're getting some gaps here. And my recommendation is if you want to, you can sew some, and I might just do that, sew some seed beads in between to cover up all those little holes, which I think I might do once, you know, I'm done putting all these beads on. I might not show that on video. I just wanted to show you guys how I got it started how I'm putting on these large beads and then you just go through and put some seed beads on. The reason I'm, I'm reluctant to use these is that I love the color. They would be perfect, but I don't think there's enough to cover everything, you know, in between the beads that I want to put on. So I'm going to go do this and then the next one, the next row is going to be pearls and then the clear and then, you know, blue and pearls. And I'm going to go that way and I will show you what it looks like when I'm done. Be right back. Okay. Look at that. What do you guys think? I think it turned out beautiful. I mean, I am not an expert in sewing. I will say that. So if you're good at sewing, you could probably do a way better job than me, but even then, I think it's still sparkles and those pearls and the blue pops. So pretty. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I do have some beads left here, but I was worried that I wouldn't have enough to do more rows on each side. So I don't know. And then I wanted to get this video out to you guys so you could see. I know I've been away for a while. So I wanted to get this out to you guys so you know the main, um, the main way, so you know the the main steps to make this headband. If we've got weddings coming up, we've got graduation, so you can use school colors or a uh, wedding, you know, whatever colors the bride has picked. So many things you can do with this. So I just wanted to give you some ideas on how to use it. And of course, big thank you to Potomac Beads for providing me the box, such a lovely box that I get every month. Thank you, thank you so much. And also, before I let you go, I wanted you to see I did I need to cut these these off I made some stretchy stretchy bracelets with the variety of beads I did add some of these polymer clay like these little discs I did add that it is just fun spring bracelets that are stretchy you know you can wear it with jeans just to add some color to your outfit i have a ton of beads left so until the next month's bead box i'm going to leave you with the march bead box unboxing and project and i will see you guys over there bye